I think if I were going to speak about a legacy for Isaac, it would be about his fearlessness and that little touch of irreverence and humor that he is, he is just so unafraid to share. Um, Isaac was not a rule follower in couture. He did not give you the same thing every year. He was not afraid to give you exuberant and even clashing crazy color. He loved that. He loved stepping over those lines. And, and that is something that is rare and actually probably quite missed in American fashion now. Um, a little bit, I have to get dressed for thing to, the oh, things to <laughs> You know, I've never been in a museum. It's a beautiful museum. I think there there is a more. It's beautiful. This was the original dining room of the Weber family. It's just, it's just awesome. Um, and my favorite parts are like sort of, I think, the swatch wall, because it was such a crazy thing to amass all of those swatches all these years. And then also, I think the sketches really kind of resonate with me, because clothes are clothes, but sketches are wishes. You know, you're like sitting in a room kind of wishing that these clothes would actually happen. And then, but the best phase of the thing is when the sketches are actually being sketched. And that's what, so I think that's my favorite part. And this is like a shirt waist that goes on like an apron, right? It's just a wrap skirt, right? And it goes on like an apron and it's completely backless. I think that's a beautiful, smart dress made in the most beautiful Sea Island cotton in the world, right? Because I'm 54, that's an age at which you kind of look at your life and you go like, you know what, just a minute, just a minute, let me look back and kind of do a little research about my life in order to go forward, you know? And that's, I think, what this exhibit is. It's sort of this survey. I don't want to call it a retrospective. It's like a kind of midpoint, you know? Which means I plan to live another 54 years till 108. And then there'll be a retrospective. <laughs> So that that was Linda Evangelista who wore that, and it was boom. 